the next generation place where we discuss issues like relationships career and business advice education and religious matters and much much more so sit back watch and be informed your host is Laban Bithi. Hello and a very good evening. My name is Brian Moses Wano and I'm starting in for Laban Bithi. Thank you for tuning in. This is JM Studios Mombasa. And um, we are having a heated conversation here this evening. We want to talk about the straight self-esteem. Uh, I have my guest in studio, a lady and gentleman. Uh, you can introduce yourself, maybe starting from the gentleman. Okay, good evening viewers. Uh, my name is Isaac Kitana. And I'm happy to be here as usual. It's always a pleasure just uh, joining you. Mm -hmm. uh, just to deposit somewhat, something to somebody who is listening. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. All right. Mm, yes, lady. <laughs> lady. <laughs> lady. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, my name is Gloria Mwendwa and it's always a great pleasure to be here, uh, to share in wisdom, to share in the word, and to share in every aspect of life. And I believe that you're going to enjoy mm -hmm. today's talk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isaac and Gloria, thank you for fixing your time to be with us in this show this evening. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to talk about self-esteem. Uh, it's reported that most of, uh, you know, the suicide cases are brought by a self-esteem issue. So we consider it a very important topic this evening and I want us to expound on that this mm -hmm. evening. And I know that you are going to give somebody a knowledge that they require for them to understand the whole topic. So mm -hmm. I want to begin with you, Isaac. What is your understanding of the word self-esteem? Self-esteem... Uh it's basically just how you see yourself, mm -hmm. who you are, or who I am. Mm -hmm. It's uh, how I rate, rate myself, mm -hmm. how I picture myself, mm -hmm. my worth. Yeah. I probably, if I can, uh, can say I'm a product. Mm -hmm. So how much <laughs> do I go for? Like how much uh, it's my worth? How, how much is my price? Yeah the price tag mm -hmm. that I place on myself. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in the market, uh, how much can I sell myself yeah. probably now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm putting myself probably when I'm a product. Yeah, sure. So how do I see myself? Mm -hmm. If I begin to sell myself, how much? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Gloria, that is a value. Maybe you have a different definition of self-esteem. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's more or less the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I would define self-esteem this way. Uh, previously, we were talking about uh, the self-awareness mm -hmm. journey. Mm -hmm. And we began by saying that anything that begins with, begins with self, mm -hmm. then it reflects back to you. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about <laughs> self-esteem, mm -hmm. it's how you, not the way others, how you view yourself. Mm -hmm what you think about yourself mm -hmm. like i uh, like isaac said what is your price tag yeah. if you were to put a price tag on yourself mm -hmm. how much would you say you are worth mm -hmm. self-esteem is what do you believe 
about yourself. Mm -hmm. So self-esteem has a lot to do about you and your beliefs. Mm -hmm. Self is you internally and externally. And when you talk about esteem is uh, the beliefs that you have about yourself mm -hmm. you're yeah. talking about your price tag your worth you know both of you are talking about that uh, yeah. how does this trait uh differ from the word pride how do you know that now um you know i have a high self-esteem and mm -hmm. now um i'm having pride what's the difference now uh the difference comes in uh self-esteem is just knowing your value mm -hmm. what you can offer mm -hmm. And uh, being that, yeah. uh, when you talk of pride, it becomes pride when you want to make yourself look more superior mm -hmm. to your colleagues or even to people that you are living with. Yeah. Like uh, it makes them feel like uh, they are inferior to you mm -hmm. because of how you paint it to them. Mm -hmm. Probably I can sing, I can dance, mm -hmm. or I can do something more. And uh, when I'm talking to you, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, nice. Hey, but yeah. Well, when are you South Yako? Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, I'm just making look like it's me that I, I exhort myself more. Mm -hmm. uh, it becomes pride. Yeah. But again, it is oftenly mistaken, like confused the two mm -hmm. words, mm -hmm. the self-esteem. Because there are those people. Yes, they know themselves. Mm -hmm. They just don't go for anything. Yeah. Self-esteem, we're talking of the value mm -hmm. and the standards mm -hmm. that I, I know I cannot do things like anybody else. Yeah, yeah. I have a standard. I have a way of doing things. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing yourself to that level or doing things in that manner, at time it be confused for pride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody is watching and feeling like, hey, this guy is talking so much about himself. Mm -hmm. But uh, you talking about yourself in a way to uh, help somebody else yeah or you just uh, yeah you're challenging somebody else to come out of where they are mm -hmm. so it's a uh, it's the words are oftenly uh, uh, mistaken, mistaken for yeah. each other mm -hmm. yeah Rory, you have a different maybe opinion apart from the isaacs it's more or less the same mm -hmm. though i would uh, i would maybe add this yeah. i think when it comes to pride it depends from it depends on where the recipient is which side is the recipient leaning on mm -hmm. you get same uh, same for self esteem yeah. though self esteem has a lot to do with you but now when it comes to pride it's an external factor mm -hmm. so it's a, it's uh, on the recipient's point of interpretation mm -hmm. you get like Isaac Saida uh, pride is not necessarily a bad thing. It depends on how it is put out. Mm -hmm. You get okay. I don't know whether there is good pride, <laughs> ama <laughs> bad pride, yeah. but there is this pride of um, knowing what what like you are worth, mm -hmm. like uh, knowing what you are made of. And uh, there are things you cannot tolerate. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, I like, uh, uh, I hope I'm allowed to give this example. Mm -hmm. I like the way Reverend Kula, Julian Kula preaches. Mm -hmm. And when he's preaching, especially when he's preaching about entrepreneurship and matters finance and matters business, he is very passionate, more so in relation to the church. Mm -hmm. Because he himself is a business mogul is somebody who has made it well on the altar preaching and has gone to the business world as and has made it. Mm -hmm. So when he preaches, he tells you, allow me to pride in myself. Yeah. And sometimes he preaches and tells you, it's not pride. It's I am telling you what has made me who I am today, who I am mm -hmm. for you to be assisted mm -hmm. you get like isaac uh, was explaining it's um it's not when i talk about myself mm -hmm. it's not to boast there's a difference between boasting and pride mm -hmm. you get yeah. now boasting is bad mm -hmm. but when it comes to pride depends with, with mm -hmm. yeah, so th th there's a new term i'm learning right now that now there's a good friend bad friday yeah. <laughs> 
mean, and now uh, let, let's take it a much higher. Um, we were just, you know, building some foundation on, on the topic you want to discuss. Mm -hmm. Now there is low self-esteem, there is high self-esteem. Mm -hmm. What causes low self-esteem? I was <coughs> esteem, sorry. I was I was attending a lecture this morning, and our teacher was telling me that, you know, even ladies today, mm -hmm. they get stressed up and they feel that like. Their, their, their esteem is so low just because somebody never liked a photo that they, they posted in social media. <laughs> so uh, maybe starting with you, Isaac, what do you think causes low self-esteem? Um, I think one is a failure to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a topic we were handling last week, talking about self-awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know who you are, then anybody can carry you along whichever it's like a, a paper mm -hmm. very light can be carried by wind yeah. to whichever side mm -hmm. so you don't know your you don't know your value mm -hmm. you don't know how much you can offer you don't mm -hmm. know your worth so anything that comes that looks like it makes you happy uh, it can carry you anyhow mm -hmm. so self awareness is very key so lack of self self awareness is a contributor to low self esteem mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, number 2 we have the failure, probably failing an exam. Mm -hmm. uh, every time you always feel bad about yourself, mm -hmm. like others are passing, I'm trying my best, but I'm not doing as I should. Mm -hmm. You're failing business. Mm -hmm. So a time uh, with the failures in life, you'd uh, ask yourself, what will I tell people? Probably when you are in a, such a, a sitting mm -hmm. uh, like you're having today, Probably we are gentlemen seated in a, in a meeting somewhere mm -hmm. and we are talking about business and everybody talking about the profit I made mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, looking at yourself, you closed a business just the other day because you're not able even to manage. Mm -hmm. So what can you say in such a forum? So it puts your esteem down. Mm -hmm. So failure. Uh, we also have poverty. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also a contributor. Especially when you talk of money issues, mm -hmm. seated here, everybody is driving uh, a good, good machine, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> a good machine. Mm -hmm. And I came here walking, mm -hmm. and uh, you're talking about uh, I'll pass by a petrol station total there yeah. to fuel my car, ten thousand. Mm -hmm. And I'm just figuring out how, what am I going to eat today? Mm -hmm. We are in totally different mm -hmm. levels. Mm -hmm. So when you begin to talk about fuel and the price are hiking today we are talking about the taxation and whatever mm -hmm. and i'm here thinking about my rent three thousand rent mm -hmm. i've not paid today it's uh, eight mm -hmm. and i've not paid you're playing a and sick with the landlord uh, so <laughs> <laughs> i can see a call coming through right now yeah. from my landlord yeah. and i'm not able to pick and mm -hmm. we're talking about money big money yeah. Yeah. Uh, for sure, it will make you feel bad about mm -hmm. yourself. And probably you are older than these people, yeah. mm -hmm. or you are age mate. You feel these people are doing better than me. Mm -hmm. uh, just normal, as a man, you will feel like this thing is really putting you down. Mm -hmm. So there are so many factors that will make you. Again, there are, there are insults mm -hmm. in life. When you are working, probably you have uh, uh, probably part of yourself that is not as good as people term, I don't know how what people <laughs> refer good, yeah. like uh, they can uh, just look at your head, you have a very big head. <laughs> well, my, I and have and a very it's true, you have it. Yeah, I, I have it. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's true. true. <laughs> but you see, because now they are painted, it's big, yeah. it is probably doesn't look like it's qualified to be in the society. <laughs> So with that it, itself, it mm -hmm. makes you feel like, no, you're not wanted yeah. in this mm -hmm. place. Yeah. So if it's repeated over and over, uh, you may begin to like disassociate yourself from where people are. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever you find such people, uh, or even if just anybody, random, mm -hmm. you don't want to get close to them yeah. because they might repeat the same thing yeah. that you've been hearing since you are a child. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are some of the contributors. I know my sister has some <laughs> too. Maybe, maybe, maybe before, before Gloria, before mm -hmm. Gloria um, I, I like how Isaac is, is putting the, the whole imagery. I love how he's describing it. Mm. Have you found yourself in such a situation? Yes. What happened? And, uh, Listen real quick. 
<laughs> I believe each and each one of us has found themselves in having low self esteem is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But it becomes a bad thing now when it gets into you so much that mm -hmm. it starts affecting you. Mm -hmm. See like the example he gave uh, when somebody tells you uh, because of your physical appearance yeah. tells you you have a big head mm -hmm. and then uh, it gets into you. Yeah. To, uh, to the extent that you don't want to be in certain places, you don't want to associate with people, you start becoming antisocial. Mm -hmm. Now that becomes a bad, a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Having low self-esteem once in a while, you get particularly uh, physical appearance. I am short. Mm -hmm. You get. Yeah. And uh, I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. But now you might be in places, and then somebody. We are saying uh, you are with uh, some people, you re people of honor, people you respect, yeah. and then your friend just comes and uh, randomly throws a joke. <laughs> and as you are short, <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> of course, how will that make you feel? Yeah. It makes you feel they bad. Talk of, of your forehead. <laughs> the, exactly. They, <laughs> when somebody pinpoints those uh, weaknesses, mm -hmm. you get. And they do, they do it like so publicly, yeah. mm -hmm. either consciously or unconsciously. Mm -hmm. So especially for me, uh, the fact that I'm short, I, I don't mind when you make a joke yeah. that I'm short. Mm -hmm. But there are some instances when you make it, uh, when you say that it stops now being a joke yeah. and the becomes, becomes a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, the joke now becomes like a personal attack. Mm -hmm. yeah. get. And then again, you also have to be, when it comes to esteem issues, you have to be conscious. You mm -hmm. have to be mature enough. Remember when we were talking about self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And uh, we briefly mentioned that. So you have to, to have that self-confidence. Mm -hmm. That uh, even if you tell me I'm short, I don't mind. Yeah. I know I'm short. Yeah, so sure. there's nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. And maybe something that Isaac forgot to mention is that uh, one, of, or one of the causes also of self-esteem is unrealistic life goals. Mm -hmm. Unrealistic uh, expectations yeah. you get <coughs> and also i don't know if you mentioned maybe many peter physical appearance mm -hmm. you get say you are disabled yeah. you get Th there is very little you can do about it mm -hmm. and uh, you let it get into you then it becomes a cause for low self-esteem mm -hmm. yeah so yes i've had self <laughs> so my friends please know when to make that mm -hmm. joke <laughs> <laughs> Don't just throw it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And I think I can add something. Mm -hmm. uh, one before you. Yes. Yeah, sure. uh, also, comparisons. Mm -hmm. And realistic comparisons. Mm -hmm. uh, I just mentioned about the peer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When, uh, like, uh, we are in the same class. Probably we are in the same class. Mm -hmm. We graduated the same year. Yeah. And everybody went their way into searching for job and business and whatever. Mm -hmm. And they found themselves somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then we are meeting after five years or ten years after graduation. Mm -hmm. And everybody is... Then you begin to compare yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> and probably you are the best performing in yeah, the lunch. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. probably those times, mm -hmm. the A, 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 mm -hmm. the distinctions and whatever. Mm -hmm. Now at this time, uh, you are somewhere almost under the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you compare yourself, yeah. and if you are okay, in fact you are okay until you met these people. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. So the comparison at that moment makes you feel bad. Mm -hmm. About, probably even you are not doing that bad. Yeah, you probably you just own a, a small a machine, yeah. a small one. <laughs> yeah, and the life is not that bad. Probably <laughs> you live in a two-bedroom mm -hmm. house or three-bedroom. Yeah. But these people tell, I have a mansion somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow I'll be traveling to uh, Dubai. They call it Dubai. <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like they begin to talk bigger, bigger yeah. talks than yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you begin to feel bad about yourself. Mm. I think it's good to accept where you are. Sure. Mm -hmm. Where you feel uh, uh, in that level. You may not be doing it as good as them, but. Uh, uh, if you begin to compare yourself in that manner, mm -hmm. it makes you feel bad. And mm -hmm. if it gets inside you, mm. you may even think of stealing. Mm, yeah. <laughs> or even doing some, some other <laughs> yeah, stuff sure. that are not right. Sure. Mm. Yeah, so, and realistic comparison. Mm -hmm. Yes, at times it's good to, like, hey, 
just get yourself mm -hmm. uh, a positive uh, comparison mm -hmm. where like yeah, I need to run, mm -hmm. I need to that you don't want to settle because at the time it, you might be where you are because you just relax and took life easy and simple yeah. and uh, you can see some people running so begin no because I can see some people they become an example mm -hmm. that you want to emulate yeah. and run mm -hmm. just to get to keep up that pace and standard and, and I, I think that's true story um i mean i'm in our form four class group you mm -hmm. know people that graduated that year from form four and there these are brothers who went and joined army you know some of them just went and began business and they're doing well mm -hmm. and then now there's this portion who are still in school mm -hmm. sometimes you see the comments and the pressure <laughs> that is there you're like yeah what is happening here? Mm -hmm. But th there's something also I realized. I, I saw somebody wrote it in, in, in WhatsApp that 1 plus 9 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10. Mm -hmm. but the answer is still 10. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, Isaac, you spoke of self-assertiveness, um, yeah. rather failure to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. How do I understand myself as a person? Uh, we talked about it last uh, uh, show. Yeah, sure. That was self-awareness, mm -hmm. knowing yourself. Mm -hmm. I say the most important thing is to it's knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, uh, it will open up the inner self mm -hmm. that will understand yourself better. Yeah. By knowledge, that you are able to uh, just even what we are doing right now, we 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 are putting through some knowledge to somebody who is listening to us. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to people to talk, uh, you're gaining some knowledge about yourself. Mm -hmm. When you sit through with somebody, just, okay, one, it's about knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's basically knowledge. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's able to bring out the best from yourself. And uh, we acquire knowledge in through many ways. Probably you can see to, you have a mentor. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, you are able to to do this thing better than you are doing right now. Mm -hmm. So you are able to realize yourself. You can also be with friends, listening to messages, mm -hmm. probably in church. Yeah. Uh, so there are so many, so many ways, but the basic thing to know yourself is just knowledge, gaining mm -hmm. the knowledge, mm -hmm. surrounding yourself with, and it's not just any knowledge, <laughs> the knowledge that can mm -hmm. mislead you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's the positive right knowledge, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gloria, you said one of the causes is reception and consciousness. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you control your reception of, uh, of a comment from somebody or people talks? As in, how do you control how you receive these messages? As the, as the talk is going on, mm -hmm. I realized uh, still there's so much we didn't cover on self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably this is an expansion of self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Because when you become self-aware, mm -hmm. We, we say that one of the things you do in the self-awareness journey is setting for yourself goals, you mm -hmm. get. If I know where I am, I am headed, mm -hmm. and I meet you on the way, mm -hmm. and you try to convince me we go <laughs> in another <laughs> direction, yeah. as long as I know where I'm going, mm -hmm. I always tell my colleagues this, that as long as you know that you are right, mm -hmm. and you have proof, and you have data and everything else is backing you up yeah. never ever be afraid even to be alone mm -hmm. you get uh -huh. uh, i was i was listening again to julian Kula this week uh, and he was saying obedience is never convenient mm -hmm. in fact anytime you find yourself in uh, somewhere where there are so many people mm -hmm. you probably are in the wrong place because mm -hmm. we are in different phases of life, we are in different seasons of life. Yeah. Which is the most convenient mode of travel today? By air. Up there, she is case kumodia kuna jamiandeg. So up there, the most convenient inconvenient places, the most un like uh, uh, uncommon places. Mm -hmm are probably most likely the right ones. Mm -hmm. So how do you control peer pressure, if I would say that, mm -hmm. from getting into you? Yeah. When the day you become self-aware, mm -hmm. you know where you are headed, you have your goals in place, you have your vision board in place, you know yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, sorry, let me use this example. Mm -hmm. Like me, 
the even if you tell me I'm short, mm -hmm. it will not affect me. Mm -hmm. I, I will not now go and start researching. Oh, now I go to the Chinese doctors. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how can I become <laughs> tall? <laughs> you Google how to become tall. I start googling. Are there medical <laughs> ways of becoming tall? Mm -hmm. I even maybe in the worst case scenario, I I, I go and start. Eh, <laughs> so is. It's how do you uh, prevent yourself mm -hmm. from being impacted negatively by external factors is by becoming self-aware. Mm -hmm. That's how the simplest way I would put mm -hmm. it. Self-awareness mm -hmm. is the key. Yes. I believe self-awareness and, and controlling the situation is one of the ways to control self, low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Maybe Isaac, if you have some to add on. Yeah, uh, I can add something. <laughs> to control the self-esteem issue. Mm -hmm. One is to, can you be nice to yourself? Be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just be good to yourself. Mm -hmm. Appreciate who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm short, accept. Mm -hmm. You see, and when you accept yourself, it means you are focusing on what you can change. Mm -hmm. What you cannot change, uh, let God do his job mm -hmm. because he knew why he created you that yeah, way sure. and why he placed you. You see, we can, uh, we, there are things that for sure we cannot change, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no matter how hard we try. And now those are the most things that, there are things that hit us most. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because I cannot change who I am, mm -hmm. like uh, in some, my body parts. Mm -hmm. uh, just you going by the example that he, she used mm -hmm. being short. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? You are born short. Yeah. How do you increase your height? By wearing high heels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can wear. But at the end of the day, when you remove your shoes, you are the same size. Yeah, you yeah, sure. go back to being so short. it's accepting mm -hmm. who you are. Like yeah. the thing that you cannot change, mm -hmm. let them go. Yeah. What you can change, focus on them. Mm -hmm. Number two, another way to make yourself. Uh, get out of this issue, the self-esteem, the low self-esteem. Uh, you need to identify what, and that's what she talked about, the mm -hmm. self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Identify what you can do. Your strength. What you love doing and what you can do best. Mm -hmm. If you can sing, can you do that? Mm -hmm. One thing I believe in life, nobody is able to do everything 100% yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot be everything. Mm -hmm. You can't be everything. That is one thing that young people need to understand. You cannot be everything. So when you understand that, you only focus on your strength. Mm -hmm. If you can sing, please sing. Perfect in that. Become an expert in that. That everybody else, I might be short, but you can, when it comes to a certain point, mm -hmm. then you must come to me. Mm -hmm. At that mm -hmm. moment now, I am <laughs> Mindo Kusema, Mindo Basu. Yeah. Uh, because, you, yes, I may not be able to do other things mm -hmm. because probably of my stature and other things. But I know there is something that God has put a uniqueness in every man. Mm -hmm. There is a uniqueness in you. Mm -hmm. There is a uniqueness in me. Mm -hmm. So can I identify that uniqueness and then pursue it? It's very key mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. And maybe just uh, briefly, Brian, yeah. to add on this. We are living in uh, terrible times, if I would call them that. Mm -hmm terrible times in this aspect where there is so much pressure mm -hmm. from social media. Mm -hmm. People are posting achievements left, right and center. Mm -hmm. You get. Mm -hmm. People are just portraying, giving this perfect picture life on social media. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, that's, where th that, that, uh, that's where all this began because you see somebody today mm -hmm. has gone uh, for a holiday yeah. somewhere mm -hmm. you get and they start posting some of these things people post they are not even real mm -hmm. they download them mm -hmm. and you, you are there oh now so and so has bought an iphone okay. so and so has gone for holiday mm -hmm. so now you start even you pressurizing yourself oh can i go like i just said be, yeah. be nice to yourself mm -hmm. No, know your worth, know mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. 
yes. Uh, let's talk of high self esteem in a real quick. Maybe mm. Isaac. Mm. Now, what is high self esteem now? Oh, it's simply <laughs> knowing yourself. <laughs> you simply understand who you are and living your life. Mm. Just in simple terms. Mm, Gloria. Yeah, there might be so many. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know if we did we mention the types of self esteem mm -hmm. because uh, there is low, mm -hmm. there is high, right. mm -hmm. and there is other one is called what? Let me refer. I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had written yes, there is low, mm -hmm. there is high self esteem, mm -hmm. and there is healthy mm -hmm. self esteem. Mm -hmm. So maybe when we are talking about this uh, high self-esteem, high self -esteem, yeah. again, like we defined pride, mm -hmm. it will go back to unaipima inafika kiwango kipi, sorry. Mm -hmm. You get, yeah. you know it's like salt. Mm -hmm. Salt is nice. But salt is only useful if you use it in the right measure. Mm -hmm. You see, even high self-esteem, it can be good, it can be bad. It is good, perfect, when you believe in yourself mm -hmm. and uh, you become, a, it gives you confidence, mm -hmm. you get. But again, it becomes very bad when now you start pinning others down, mm -hmm. you get. You start pinning people down, you start looking down on people mm -hmm. simply because you feel mm -hmm. you've made it in life. Yeah. Sometimes you've not even made it. You've made it in your own world. Mm -hmm. You've seen these people <laughs> who walk around feeling like uh, the world uh, is just there yeah. on, uh, on their hands. Mm -hmm. you get. So when we talk about uh, high self-esteem, mm -hmm. I would maybe look at uh, it should be more on case study based. Yeah. Where are we looking at it from? Mm -hmm. Because there are times, Brian, you as my friend, I will slap you and tell you, can you, can you raise your self-esteem? Mm -hmm. Can you have some high self-esteem yeah. about yourself? And there are some times I would beat you and like, that's, that's now pride. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are overstepping. Mm -hmm. You get, you are mm -hmm. overstepping. And now there is the moderated self-esteem. Mm -hmm. The one we call the healthy yeah. self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, and um, maybe why should somebody have a healthy self-esteem? Maybe Isaac. A healthy self-esteem. Mm -hmm. uh, Moderated as, as, as Gloria. <laughs> 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 okay, it's so basically self-esteem. Just knowing yourself, mm -hmm. appreciating who you are, mm -hmm. and living your life as you should, mm -hmm. and uh, pursuing things in the right path. Mm -hmm. uh, one, it helps you to to be confident in life, mm -hmm. uh, that you approach things not uh, from a point of fear and yeah. intimidation. Mm -hmm. Like you can be seated somewhere and you 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 contribute mm -hmm. in a forum uh, without asking what will people say. Mm -hmm. uh, probably there are people I know who are affected so much by language, the the accent. Mm -hmm. uh, from your tribal, from yeah. your background. Me ni mkamba mbaka niongeza ama me ni mkikuyu mbaka R and whatever. But there are people who don't like Aiwagongi, Aiwagongi. Toka mwanzo mbaka mwisho, you would hear who ni mkikuyu. Ni ame ni macho ke. Toka mwanzo mbaka mwisho, kikamba iko nyinge hapo. But kile wamebeba, you cannot ignore it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they understand who they are, mm -hmm. and they are able to go beyond this small barrier of mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm not able to pronounce words as I should or yes. somebody else, mm -hmm. but I would not allow that to become a barrier for what I want to deliver. Mm -hmm. So uh, it gives you confidence. Mm -hmm. Number two, it helps you to relate with people well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can talk to anybody, you mm -hmm. can relate. You don't feel inferior, mm -hmm. you don't feel superior to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, anywhere you can fit, mm -hmm. so it helps you to relate with the people, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very key. It's yeah. very key for Gloria, maybe to, to add on. Yeah, did I get you? Sorry, huh? <laughs> you, did, you, did. <laughs> you did, but she can uh, go on, and then I'll come in. Okay, after. Uh, yeah. So, the balance finding the moderated self esteem, especially you know, esteem has a lot to do with. Uh, <laughs> Yes, in as much as it itself, but it has a lot again to do with how you relate with people. Mm -hmm. It is very important to treat people right, mm -hmm. regardless, 
regardless of where you are in life. Mm -hmm. It is very important. You might have made it, yes, uh, God bless you for that, we are happy for you, mm -hmm. but that's not now an opportunity for you to go and pin down somebody. Mm -hmm. You see, a wise man once said, I think it was Maurice Olo, mm -hmm. I love his teaching, especially about life. Mm -hmm. When you order, we are an online generation, so we order things online. Mm -hmm. And when it is delivered to you, and you open the door, mm -hmm. and you find that it is your former classmate who, has, who is the delivery man, mm -hmm. it, that is not an opportunity for you to go like, <gasps> <laughs> what happened? It was, it was a precept. <laughs> I was always in the list of noisemakers. You are always ahead of me. Mm -hmm. No, that's not the right opportunity. Yeah. Mm. In fact, wow, so and so, how you do it? It's been so long. Can we catch up? Mm -hmm. Then now you get to, you get. So again, we borrow a lot from the topic of self awareness. Mm -hmm. Because it, again, self awareness will teach you. Mm -hmm. It's like. Uh, I, I cannot <laughs> mention self-awareness without the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. because he is the epitome. He is the one who teaches us, mm -hmm. the Holy, those who believe in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He is our teacher. Mm -hmm. He will teach you how to behave rightly depending on the environment. Mm -hmm. Because again, there are times that will call for you to, se to raise your self-esteem <laughs> so that somebody beneath there will copy from you. Mm -hmm. You might not have the opportunity to reach to everyone at a personal level, but from the way you live your life, from the way you handle your things, from the way you carry yourself, mm -hmm. they are able to look and say, wow, I want to be like Brian, mm -hmm. you get, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, can I add something? Because I said you cut me one out. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. Yeah, uh, the reason why we need to be, to have the self-aware or to be having the self-esteem, mm -hmm. the right self-esteem, mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, it contributes to being positive in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, uh, yes, there are things that are hard mm -hmm. in life probably, mm -hmm. but uh, your mindset is, this thing is possible. Mm -hmm. There, there, are, there are children that have grown in places where they are told, mm -hmm. you cannot do this. Mm -hmm. you can, and that thing is deep in their mind and in their hearts. Mm -hmm. That they have grown now in this, this kind of food mm -hmm. is only eaten in some places. Kwenu wa mwezi kula kuku, kuku ni akule. So amekuwa in that, akielewa kwamba, uh, uh, this meal belongs to, this cloth are only for these rich kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that person has grown knowing that themselves, they feel inferior. Mm -hmm. But when you know who you are, uh, you are positive in life, that yeah. I can do anything, I can be anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it is good to have that positive mentality. Number two, mm -hmm. uh, it's just in addition, mm -hmm. it, uh, having self-esteem translate to results. It just, results are good, you get good results. Mm -hmm. At work, the performance, mm -hmm. For somebody who knows who they are, they understand their value. So you cannot just be uh, uh, be taken for granted. Probably even your pay, you don't just go take any pay. You know who you are, you know mm -hmm. your value. Mm -hmm. So, and when you get into that job, you are able to give the result that look like you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, um, ladies and gen lady and gentlemen. <laughs> sorry, thank you for coming. Uh, in strictly thirty seconds, yeah, maybe it. I start with you, Gloria. Mm -hmm. What's your last word to your viewer this evening? Maybe using your camera. Yeah, when uh, we talk about self-esteem, again, let's go back to being self-aware. Become become as aware about yourself as possible, and. I will emphasize on this strongly, a point that Isaac mentioned, love yourself. Love yourself. How I wish that uh, we will handle that topic one day, because we are living in times that we are so concerned about what is happening around us, what is happening in our environment, but hardly do we spend time with yourself. 
to know ourselves more, to invest. Because when you invest in yourself, when you love yourself, you'll invest in yourself. You'll invest healthy food, healthy environments, perfect family. You will make the right choices in life. Mm -hmm. So, love yourself. You'll just find that self-esteem just moderating itself. Mm -hmm. It yeah. will. You use <laughs> 70 seconds, I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Maybe Isaac, you okay, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try using 30, 30 seconds, but it's, yeah. uh, you know. Um, my word to the listener is that you are not like anybody else. Mm -hmm. You're unique. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Just discover who you are and uh, everything will fall into place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you for wow. being this. <laughs> All right, my viewer, thank you for keeping us company at JM Youth Talk Forum this evening. Um, thank you for tuning and thank you for watching uh, if you have any question if you have anything that you need assistance from us just put your comment uh, just down there and we will handle it and then zero seven nine eight nine five zero zero four six are our studio numbers if you have any questions that you want to ask us if you have any topic that you want us to handle on your behalf then we are here to assist you ladies and gentlemen again thank you for coming Thank you for finding time. Um, you've been a blessing and you've been a, a great contributor to the success of this studio. Sure. All right, thank you for tuning in this evening. Until next time, find us in YouTube, find us in TikTok, find us in Facebook, like and say, any other social media channels. Out of what is inside here, the fullness within you, yeah, that's what the mouth speaks. Yeah. So uh, what you have in your head, you behave like that. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you understand by social media? <laughs> yeah, social media it's a, it's a platform it's a connecting platform right? just as the word goes social media it's a, a platform for uh, mostly socializing it's a, it's a, it's a media of, uh, of exchanging information uh, be inspired be ready to be transformed be ready to get something great something uh, that is going to change you, be ready to receive a word for you.